This morning, Hollywood is watching closely to see if the groundbreaking distribution strategy for the interview could become a model for other movies. New York Times media editor Peter Latman is with us. Peter, good morning. Hi, Anthony. I don't think this is the way they wanted to release the movie, obviously, but how has it worked out? Yeah, so you could call this an accidental experiment. Um, it seems to have worked out pretty well. I think we're hearing that box office receipts are about a million dollars on Christmas Day and through the weekend could be as high as three or four million dollars. Mm -hmm. But remember, this movie is only being released in about 300 theaters. It had been planned to be released in about 2,000 theaters. So it's a much more modest release than they had originally planned. I got to say, if I am Sony Pictures or a company who releases a movie, I see the benefit of releasing it in two forms. But if I'm the movie theater, I'm not so happy with this idea. Right. So the big theater chains are the linchpin in all of this. They did not participate in the big screen release here. Carmike, AMC, Regal, yep. they're not involved. So it's only the independent theater chains that are releasing the movie at the same time that you could see it at home, on Google, or Microsoft's um, online video systems. So in some ways, this is a unique experiment. But as you said, Hollywood's watching closely to see how it does. Because they've talked about doing this for a long time, and obviously they didn't want to anger the theaters, so they've waited to release on demand later. But is there any evidence that it works? Well, you've seen some modified exper uh, experiments. Uh, last year you had Veronica Mars, Warner Brothers release that in a lim limited number of theaters. Next year you're going to see Netflix do it with IMAX. Uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, the sequel, will be released at the same time. But what you haven't seen yet is a big major motion picture released in thousands of theaters and online at the same time. The movie theaters think that the online video viewing will cannibalize the people going to the theaters. And theater viewing is much... It's, it's down, so movie theaters are having problems of their own. Mm -hmm. It seems like, as with many of these stories, profits are ultimately what everyone's waiting to see. How long do you think it will be if we, in fact, see that profits were better for this movie for for companies, for production companies to start to say, let's make this pivot. Let's see if this really works. Right. Now, look, there was outsized publicity for the interview, yeah. right? So lots of people are going to see it. People are singing God Bless America before it's screening. <laughs> so this really is unique. But nevertheless, people are going to the theater. I mean, I went to the theater yesterday, and I could have stayed home and rented this movie for $5, but yeah. I went with my family and paid nearly $100. So the movie-going experience still persists. Yeah. But I think our grandchildren are going to say, wait, you had to wait a long time to see a movie online before, go you know, before, uh, or you had to go to the theater beforehand. So I think it will change, but it's going to take some time. So, Peter, do you think in some ways the, the, the big theater chains might ultimately regret the fact they chose not to show this film because it's pushed up this whole idea of simultaneous release? Well, I think in retrospect, probably um, the movie does seem popular and you know, let's face it, um, there was a terrorist threat and they reacted to that. Mm -hmm. So these facts and circumstances are totally unique. And I think we're going to have to wait until we see a normal uh, example to see whether really Hollywood really changes its ways here. I got to say, though, 100 bucks for your family, that's case enough for them to release these. Hey, on four tickets, popcorn, yeah. soda, yeah. right? All it adds up. up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Peter Latman, thanks so much for being with us this morning.